Have you ever wondered if black people are living in regions other than Africa and the Americas? Most people assume that black communities are confined to these two continents. But the truth is far more fascinating. Beyond the well-known African and African-American populations, there exist vibrant and ancient black tribes scattered across Asia, the Pacific, and Australia, a testament to the remarkable diversity of the human experience. Join us on an extraordinary journey as we unravel the stories of these hidden and often overlooked communities. From the lush rainforests of Southeast Asia to the sun-drenched beaches of the Pacific Islands, we will explore the origins, cultures, and unique identities of these remarkable people, celebrating the rich tapestry of our shared human heritage. The Indigenous Black Tribes of Thailand Deep within the lush rainforests of southern Thailand dwells a unique and fascinating indigenous group known as the Manic People. Shrouded in mystery, the origins of the Manic People are the subject of ongoing anthropological research, but it is widely believed that they are part of the broader group of proto malayic ethnic communities. The Manic people are one of the smallest ethnic groups in Thailand, and genetic studies have revealed a unique genetic heritage that reflects their isolation and distinct way of life. Their genetic markers show connections to other indigenous groups in the region and ancient populations that inhabited Southeast Asia. Phenotypically, the Manic people often have darker skin and hair well suited to their forested environment, showcasing adaptations to their surroundings such as enhanced visual acuity and agility, which aid them in their hunting and gathering activities. The Sri Lankan Kafirs Nestled in the heart of the Indian Ocean, the teardrop-shaped island of Sri Lanka boasts a rich tapestry of cultures, traditions, and histories. Among its diverse inhabitants, one group stands out as a fascinating testament to the island's multicultural heritage, the Sri Lankan Kafirs. The origins of the Sri Lankan Kafirs can be traced back to the 16th century when Portuguese colonialists brought African slaves to the island. These slaves were primarily of Bantu and Khoisan, descent from regions now known as Mozambique, Tanzania, and South Africa. Over time, these African individuals intermingled with the local population, resulting in a unique ethnic group known as the Kafirs. Over the years, their genetics have developed as a result of intermarriage with other ethnic groups, contributing to a unique blend of African and Sri Lankan characteristics. Their phenotype often features a range of skin tones, hair textures, and facial features, reflecting the diverse ancestral heritage that defines their identity. The Malukan People of Indonesia The Malukan people are an indigenous black community residing in the Malukan Islands of Indonesia. The origins of the Malukan people can be traced back to Austronesian migrations from Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands, with influences from neighboring regions like Papua New Guinea. These migrations over centuries laid the foundation for the diverse genetic makeup and cultural fabric of the Malukan people. The Malukan people are composed of various ethnic groups, including the Ambanese, Ternatians, Tidarians, and more, each with its distinct customs and languages. Studies have revealed a mix of Austronesian, Papuan, and Southeast Asian genetic markers, highlighting the complexity of their heritage. The Semang and Batek of Malaysia. Malaysia, a country renowned for its cultural diversity, is home to the Samang and Batek people, who stand as distinct groups embodying the ancestral heritage of the region. The origins of the Samang and Batek people can be traced back to the ancient inhabitants of the Malay Peninsula, contributing to the complex mosaic of Malaysia's indigenous population. These indigenous communities are believed to have inhabited the region for thousands of years, preserving their distinct way of life amidst the tides of history. The Semang and Batek people are part of the larger Orang Asli community, which translates to original people in Malay, highlighting their status as the earliest inhabitants of the peninsula. Research has indicated that these communities share genetic markers with other indigenous populations in Southeast Asia and Australian Melanesian groups. 
Phenotypically, both the Semong and Batek people exhibit unique physical traits adapted to their environment, such as shorter stature, darker skin, and robust physiques. A testament to the demands of living in the denser rainforests and the challenges posed by their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyles. The East Timorese Nestled in the maritime heart of Southeast Asia lies East Timor, a land of breathtaking landscapes and a people whose history is as rich as the diverse tapestry of their culture. The roots of the East Timorese people can be traced back to Austronesian migrations that took place thousands of years ago. This early migration brought together various ethnic groups, including the Atoni, Titum, Mambai, and Bunak, among others. The East Timorese population is relatively small, with an estimated 1.3 million people, inhabiting the eastern part of the island of Timor, which is shared with Indonesia. The Kanak people of New Caledonia, Nestled in the heart of the South Pacific, New Caledonia is an enchanting archipelago that beckons with its turquoise waters, lush landscapes, and vibrant cultures. Among the mosaic of societies that grace this idyllic haven, the Kanak people stand as a testament to the island's rich history and diverse heritage. The Kanak people, indigenous to New Caledonia, trace their origins to the ancient Lapita culture, known for their remarkable seafaring prowess and skilled pottery. This Austronesian group, believed to have originated in Southeast Asia, ventured across vast ocean expanses, eventually settling in the Melanesian islands. Today, the Kanak people constitute a significant portion of New Caledonia's population, accounting for approximately 39% of the total inhabitants. Genetically, the Kanak people exhibit a diverse heritage, resulting from centuries of interaction with neighboring Pacific Island communities and European explorers. Recent genetic studies have revealed intriguing insights into the Kanak population's ancestral makeup, showcasing a blend of Austronesian and Melanesian influences. The Black Tribes of Southern Yemen In the southern reaches of Yemen, a captivating tapestry of cultures and histories unfolds, revealing the presence of indigenous black tribes with deep roots in the region. The Hadrami, Shabwa, and Socotra Island people are among these remarkable communities. Both the Hadrami and Shabwa people display a diverse range of genetic influences, with their genetic makeup reflecting a blend of indigenous Yemeni, Arab, and African heritage. The Aktum tribe, in particular, bears striking phenotypical similarities to the black people of Ethiopia. While Socotra's history remains shrouded in mystery, some theories suggest that the black people of Socotra could be descendants of East African migrants who ventured across the Indian Ocean centuries ago. The island's strategic location along ancient trade routes likely facilitated the mingling of diverse populations, contributing to the unique genetic makeup of its inhabitants. Genetic studies have revealed a fascinating blend of African, Arabian, and South Asian ancestries among the Socotra Islanders, further corroborating the island's historical role as a crossroads of cultures. The Veda of Sri Lanka The Veda are a minority indigenous group of people in Sri Lanka, and their existence is a testament to the island's rich cultural tapestry. This community, though small in number, has played a significant role in shaping the narrative of Sri Lanka's ancient history. It has been hypothesized that the Veda were probably the earliest inhabitants of Sri Lanka and have lived on the island since before the arrival of other ethnic groups from India. Their arrival is tentatively dated to about 40,000 to 35,000 years ago, making them one of the oldest surviving indigenous communities in the world, the Aboriginal Australians. No exploration of the black tribes of Asia, the Pacific, and Australia would be complete without delving into the rich history and culture of the Aboriginal Australians. These indigenous peoples have been living in Australia for over 60,000 years, making them one of the oldest continuous cultures on Earth. 
The Aboriginal Australians are believed to have migrated from Africa and, after a detour, reached the Australian continent, where they settled and developed their unique way of life as hunter-gatherers. Their relationship with the land was one of profound respect and spiritual connection, believing that their culture and beliefs were closely tied to the animals and plants they encountered. The Negrito People the Negrito people are an ethnic group believed to be the earliest inhabitants of Southeast Asia and the Philippines. These indigenous people, often recognized by their small stature, dark skin, and curly or frizzy hair, are distinctively different and unique from the black Africans of today. Since humans originated in Africa and migrated to every continent, it is believed that the Negrito people were among the first to settle in Southeast Asia approximately 50,000 years ago. They are thought to have migrated from Africa, reached India, and then continued their journey to Southeast Asia, where they began living as hunter-gatherers, relying on the forests for food and resources. The Negrito people were skilled in crafting and using bows, arrows, knives, and fishing nets, reflecting their deep connection to nature and their surroundings. While some groups still live as hunter-gatherers, others have adapted to modern life while still retaining their distinct cultural practices. The Pacific Islanders The term Pacific Islanders is often used in a racial context, encompassing various subgroups, including Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. However, it is the Melanesian people who are considered the true black tribes inhabiting the Pacific Islands. The reason for their name lies in the term Melanesian itself, derived from the word melanin, the pigment that darkens human skin. Since black Africans have dark complexions, they are referred to as Melanesians in this region. Among the Melanesian people, the Solomon Eastlanders stand out as a unique group, being the only black tribe on the planet with blonde hair. These people have lived in the Pacific and Solomon Islands for thousands of years, and their societies and cultures have evolved alongside their remarkable seafaring and navigation skills. The Andamanese The Andaman Islands are home to the Andamanese, a group of indigenous black African people who have lived in substantial isolation for thousands of years. It is suggested that the Andamanese settled in the Andaman Islands during the last glacial maximum, which occurred around 26,000 years ago. The Andamanese are composed of several distinct groups, including the Great Andamanese, Jarawas of the Great Andaman Archipelago, the Jangil of Rutland Island, the Onge of Little Andaman, and the Sentinelese of North Sentinel Island. The Sentinelese, in particular, are noteworthy for actively resisting outside influence and have been known to attack and even kill anyone who attempts to invade their islands. Most of the Andamanese exhibit a distinct physical appearance that resembles African people with dark skin and unique facial features. The Tamils and Telugus the Tamil people are a Dravidian ethno-linguistic group with a distinct physical appearance characterized by dark skin and unique facial features. Although they do not identify as black, their physical traits suggest otherwise. The Tamils originate mainly from the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka, where they constitute 5.9% of the population in India and 15% in Sri Lanka. Aside from the Tamils, the Telugu people in India are another group with a dark complexion. Although there have been suggestions of a possible kinship between the Tamil people and the people of the Horn of Africa, this claim remains scientifically unconfirmed. Despite this, the Tamil people are considered the most original and indigenous tribe in India, with a rich cultural heritage that dates back thousands of years. The Papuans the Papuans are the native inhabitants of Papua New Guinea and West Papua. It is believed that they arrived in the region over 40,000 years ago and have since been divided into hundreds of distinct ethnic groups, with a total of over 820 language groups, making it the country with the highest linguistic diversity on the planet. 
Papuans have a physical appearance as similar to African people, including kinky to woolly hair, broad noses, and dark to brown complexions. Despite this, genetically, they are part of the broader Melanesian people. Like other black tribes, the Papuans are believed to have originated in Africa, eventually reaching Papua New Guinea when no humans inhabited it. Their migration and settlement in this region have resulted in a rich tapestry of cultures and traditions that have been preserved for millennia. As we conclude our journey through the black tribes of Asia, the Pacific, and Australia, we are left with a profound appreciation for the remarkable diversity of human cultures and experiences. These communities, with their unique histories, traditions, and physical characteristics, stand as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of our species. If you found this exploration as captivating as we did, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue to unravel the rich tapestry of human diversity and celebrate the beauty that lies within our differences. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Until next time, stay curious and embrace the wonders of our world.